Okay, we're going to start by selecting our planar sections. We're going to select the STL we want to cut our section through. And we can adjust its position. Here we have different options as far as what reference we want to use through a compass, through an existing plane, or through the XYZ. We can use guide curves. How many do I want? The distance apart. Turn that off. And once I have my plane or section where I like, I can hit my apply. Upon hitting my apply, because I have this icon selected, flip to curve creation, it'll automatically go to the curve creation. And here we can see the actual planar section in green and the curve creation in white. This is telling me, because I have what's called smoothing turned on, that it's deviating away from the initial curve. If I want this to match the initial curve spot on, I need to turn on the interpolation option. Make sure my split angle is um, a, a fairly shallow angle. Anywhere there's a hard corner, if it, once it meets that hard corner and at anything greater than five degrees, it will put in a hard corner. If it's less than five degrees, it'll smooth it out and round that corner out. So we want to make sure we hard corner becomes a hard corner. Hit my apply. Once my apply is hit, you'll notice that the curves that are being generated now lay right over the planar section. You'll notice the planar section in the tree. Once I select OK again, the planar section is removed from the tree, but now we have all of the actual curves of the section in the tree, which can now be copied out and placed into additional files as necessary.